In this video, you're going to learn how to create an AI image generator Discord bot like Midjourney. You don't need coding knowledge for this, and you don't even need a computer with an expensive graphics card to generate these images. Our image generation process will be done in the cloud using a service called Replicate. So let's go ahead and get started. Our Discord bot is going to be running on server-side JavaScript, so make sure you have Node.js installed on your computer. We're also going to use a code editor to edit one of the files with our credentials. And for that, we're going to be using Visual Studio Code. I recommend this code editor as it also has an integrated terminal, which we can use to run commands. So make sure you install this as well. Start by going to the GitHub link given in the description box down below, which will bring you right here. This is the source code for today's project, which means it's open source and you can modify the code to your liking. By the way, I'd really appreciate if you could give this GitHub repo a star. That way, more people will be able to see it. Anyway, if you have Git installed on your computer, you can directly clone this repository. But I'm guessing some of you are beginners, so I'll instead go ahead and download the zip file. Once it has been downloaded, go ahead and extract the file. Next, let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. Now open up the folder which you just extracted. The file that we want to edit is the config.json file, so let's go ahead and open that up. Here you'll notice we have some information to add, so let's start off with the bot token. To get our bots token, we have to create a Discord bot account. And to do that, head over to the Discord developer portal, which I'll also have linked down below. Once you're here, click on new application and give your application a name. Once your application is created, head over to the bot section and under privileged gateway intents, I want you to enable all three of these options. Without this, our bots will not get complete information from the Discord API. So make sure all of these are enabled. Now let's invite this bot to our server, so click on OAuth2, then click on URL Generator. From the scopes, go ahead and choose Bot and Application.commands. And from the bot permissions, go ahead and give your bot whatever permissions you want to give it. I'm just going to choose Send Messages and copy the URL that was generated. Next, let's go ahead and invite this bot like any other bot out there. Okay, we now have our Discord bot ready, but we need its token in order to be able to take it online and execute commands. So back in the Discord developer portal, head back to the bot section, scroll up and click on reset token. Once you reset your token, click on copy and then back in Visual Studio Code, go ahead and paste it inside the bot token. Make sure it is wrapped around quotation marks, otherwise it will not work. Now let's go ahead and work on our replicate API key. As mentioned at the start of the video, we'll be using Replicate to generate the images in the cloud so we don't have to worry about computing power. So head over to replicate.com and go ahead and sign into your account. At the time of recording this video, I believe Replicate requires you to sign in with a GitHub account, but it might be different later down the line. Once you have signed in, head over to your Replicate account. From here, copy your API key and inside your config.json file, paste it inside Replicate API key just like our bot token. Again, make sure your values are wrapped in quotation marks. That way you don't get any errors. Now I do want to mention, if you're going to use this image generator to generate a lot of images, you will run into errors after some time. This is because your replicate account most likely passed the free usage and you'll have to set up billing in your billing section. Okay, so that's pretty much all the information that we need to get started. So make sure to save your file using control S now open up the terminal by going to view, then click on terminal. Now we first need to install the libraries that we need. So type out npm install and hit enter. Once the packages are installed, go ahead and type npm run start and this should start our discord bot. You'll notice it registers some slash commands and tell us that our discord bot is online and ready to be used. So let's head over to discord and give it a shot. In Discord, we see that our bot is online, so let's go ahead and run some commands. So I'm going to type slash imagine. And for the prompt, what I'm going to type is a corgi taking a walk in a football stadium. And you'll notice there's another optional option called model. And if you click on it, you have a bunch of options for your model. Of course, feel free to experiment and see which one you like the most. Stable diffusion is the cheapest and it takes about two to four seconds to generate an image. So I'll go ahead and choose that one. 
After a few seconds, it'll give you an image result with the option to download the image. Now, one thing you might notice is when you close your terminal in VS Code, it'll actually take our bot offline, which means if I try to run this command once again, it is not going to respond this time. So if you want to learn how to keep your bot online 24-7, check out this video which teaches you how to do that.